All right, I'll get started. And uh, again, this is more of a an advisory, an advisory board meeting. Now, I, I want to get your input on these recipes to make sure before I send them out that they're usable. Um, I'm not a professional recipe writer. Uh, most of the recipes that's in my shibboleth, um, I put them together. That's why sometimes they're not concise. I play by ear but we'll make sure that you know how to use these recipes. Uh, these recipes are that we're gonna go over, these ones are um, inflammation fighting recipes and meal ideas. Uh, last week at Faithfully Fit, if you'll recall, we had a members only um, course fighting inflammation with the foods that we eat. And these meal ideas were the meal ideas that we discussed that are related to that course. What I'm trying to do as we go through these various courses that are a deeper dive than what we taught in Thrive and Shibboleth, what we're intending on doing is also taking those foods that we discuss in those courses and putting them together in a practical meal idea and meal plan approach. Does that make sense? So that you're, if you remember when we first started talking about Faithfully Fit, I said, I want it to be, it's a club, it's an exclusive club. I want it to be more hands-on where you learn more, but you also get, get the information wrapped in practical, useful information like recipes and meal ideas. Y'all remember that? So you're learning, but it's not you're walking away going, now what? Now what? So we've got some really useful information. I hope that you will see my intent to be helpful and that you will begin to talk about us on social media. Um, I got a message. You may be here. Um, probably, unless you tell me something's private, I'm not the right person to tell it to. I go live too much. But someone said, Travis, I didn't disappear. I didn't disappear. I still watch your stuff every day. I just stopped liking it. Um, I stopped liking any of your stuff, but I'm watching it and I like it. I've even had people say, several people, I like the new you. This person said, and I don't see your name, so I'm safe for a minute telling on you. And I understood it, but they said, I'm not liking your stuff. So when you like my stuff, it moves it up in the algorithm so that people, not only you see it for a little while longer, in other words, my content would pop up in your newsfeed so many days after you like something, but everybody that's like you and how you think and who you are, because you're my ideal member, Christ-centered, faith-based folks. Everybody that's like you has a higher propensity during the slow times of the day to see the content too. But if there's no engagement, no comments, no likes, then I stay buried, especially as, much, as many points are against my name. And you might wonder, well, why would there be points against you? I've not seen you do anything nasty. So the, the logic is predominantly people on Facebook don't want to hear or see certain types of content. And there's probably a higher agenda too, a lower agenda. And we all know that conservatism is offensive to a lot of people. So what they do is if in a video or in a post, if there's certain key words that I use and I don't, I'm not wise enough or patient enough to work around it, then you move down in the algorithm. One is Jesus. That just that word. 
And, um, you know, I could probably get away with saying wonderful counselor and Facebook wouldn't know. But that word, the word fat, F-A-T, that's an offensive word. It's not a good word to post if I should say adipose tissue, you know. So um, wouldn't make for very good content for the most part, not in the Bible Belt. But I have to be so careful and, and I'm not careful. So, and then to stop me from being me, I've tried that. It's really hard. So this person said, I'm not liking it because I'm afraid I am liking the other content that you used to be a part of, but I'm afraid somebody might get mad if they see me liking your content. I can assure you that I'm not going to get mad if I see you liking content from places I used to be a part of. Never. And I would like to think that nobody that participates in programs that I used to be a part of would mind you liking my stuff. Does that make sense? If they do, you shouldn't care, I think. Right? I, you know. So, Help help me out so that I can continue fulfilling the mission of helping people and I don't go silently into the night. If you enjoy what I'm doing and what I provide and the Lord gives you unction, please, please let it be known, okay? I appreciate it very much. Now I'm going to get on with it. Hey, everybody. First thing I'm going to do before I get in, yes, I'm stalling, right? So the first thing I'm going to do, I just had my first meal. I just had my first meal and I broke my fast. I did a thing of it. I had to put it up and then I had to reheat it. But uh, I had my first meal. Why would I wait so late in the day, Gary? Why would I like, wait so late in the day to have my first meal? What was I trying to accomplish before we get into anti-inflammatory meal ideas? What am I trying to accomplish? Autophagy, exactly. So I'm trying to get my daily autophagy in with a 16 hour fast. I'm trying to get back in EFB faster with my 16 hour fast. I'm trying to recover better at night with my 16 hour fast. That fasting accomplishes a lot. So here I have my, I'm feeling feisty. Y'all, I just want you to know I'm feeling feisty. Not always good. Celia, I've got my peak performance, my total health, and I'm supposed to take that with an eating episode, right? So now I'm digging at somebody else who told me I cannot swallow those pills. They're too big. So let's see if you can see on my hand. Do y'all see all those pills? My AM pack. I could have took it with the meal, but I knew I was going to do this, so I held on. So these pills are too big. That's about as big as a pinto, right? Watch this. Watch me choke. There you go. How about that? Ah, ah, a little fear factor episode there. So, hey, it's all mental, y'all. It's all mental. One and done. Just get it done. Because by doing that, I just got in. Listen now, I just got in everything that my body needs in the soil, in this earthen vessel to feel nutrient deficiencies, to fight inflammation, for brain health, to stave off Alzheimer's and dementia, to help my joints, to lower and manage my cholesterol. I got everything with Oligo technology, absorption technology, where I'm actually absorbing all of that micronutrition. It's going to help me fight inflammation, help me uh, manage my body weight, help me manage my blood sugars. It's awesome. It's awesome. 
instead of investing your money into junk, try to have a paradigm shift in the way you think. Are y'all with me? If we want something different as it relates to our health and wellness, we're going to have to think different. Then we're going to have to behave different. Then we got to do that consistently. Then we got to do that persistently, even on the bad days. Then everything that we see that we wanted to change begins to change. Faith, good nutrition, exercise, supplementation. I did that and I should have done that two handfuls. Hey, everybody, welcome. Unrelated to inflammation right now. Great little snack idea. You can get this at Shibboleth. Did y'all hear what I said? I am so mean. I'm going to get on some of y'all are not on board with me yet. But uh, I mean, did y'all hear what I just said? Where did I say you could get these? Where did, where did I say? Help a brother out. I said that you could get those at Shibboleth. All right, so these are not clean. Let me stop this. Joy's going to get on to me. She's my moral compass. Joy bad. She's going to say, cut it out, calm down. All right, so you can get these at Shibboleth, the Shibby shop. So you've got fiber gourmet thinnables, and this is cinnamon and sugar. These are not totally clean. These are going to be a part of a grace day on our program. Um, they're not clean, but they're, you, I can pronounce everything here. The only thing I'm really not liking is the starch and the guar gum, but it's, it's pretty darn clean for a snack. Something that you may have tried, but it may have been a while. These one heaping handful of these with one tablespoon of natural peanut butter is a snack. Has anybody tried that with the cinnamon and sugar thinnables? Have you tried that with natural peanut butter? So as long as I keep that snack episode at less than 200 calories, it's really a delicious snack and you are shutting down blood sugar impact. Did everybody catch that? Now it doesn't fight inflammation. Peanut butter doesn't do a good job of fighting inflammation. But if you're, if you're needing that snack episode, it's really satisfying and filling and it's pretty good with some natural peanut butter. One heaping handful of these, one tablespoon, or better to say three teaspoons. Three teaspoons of natural peanut butter is a great little snack. Kelly, great question by Kelly. Since I've been reading labels more, I see a lot of tapioca starch or fiber. How do you rate that ingredient? Not good. Um, better than other starch, but it's, it's high glycemic. So we get the fat bus if we're not pairing it up with the right fiber and protein, we'll get in trouble. Tapioca starch, you're seeing a lot of that because they use that starch in gluten-free foods because it's gluten-free. Instead of wheat starch, it's tapioca. So you're it's typically when they're trying to um, provide you a processed food, an alternative that's gluten-free. Does that make sense, Kelly? Couple of questions before I go further. All of the Faithfully Fit videos available to watch again. Yes, they are, Lisa. We are still working on our website. I'll show you, just so you know, I like to show you stuff so you know I'm not making stuff up. Um,
It's not ready. So we've been emailing. Well, I guess we're going to have to get Lisa to do it. I can't get my internet to, it's really slow. Lisa, could you give Raj's website that's not live yet? Could you give that, Lisa, if you're with me? Lisa? We have a website that's coming, and the, your recordings will be in that website. Right now, we're emailing those to everyone. I think it's faithfullyfit.club if he didn't take it down yet because he, he was showing everybody right earlier the team. So anyway, that answers that. Have a question. I went to a foot doctor because I have fungus on my big toe. He wanted to put me on some meds but would have to do blood work every month to check my liver. What can I eat to get rid of fungus? Um, I will not say your name. Apple cider vinegar every day, maybe two to three times a day. 16 hours of fasting. Fungus is related to sugar and starch. You need to eliminate all sugar and starch. Zero sugar and starch. <clears throat> you need some, uh, pro some good bacteria, some probiotics. Um, I would use Florify from the wellness company take you some extra floor fi. Does that make sense, everyone? What I'm telling this person about fungus elimination, apple cider vinegar, two to three times a day, 16 hour fast minimum, zero sugar and starch. If it has, that means that you would be on a whole food diet that you need to be on anyway, that we all need to be on anyway. That means that you would be having a faithfully fit, blessed day, nothing except for organic foods that grow from the ground. No sugar, no starch. You like it, Marsha? Thank you, Marsha. Uh, Lynn is already mentioning some uh, essential oils. I agree. Uh, Lynn, the melaleuca oil is great also. Uh, oil of oregano is excellent too. You are correct. Tea tree oil uh, as well. Tea tree oil. oil. The Melaleuca oil is fabulous. It has helped me with skin tags. It has helped me with some moles. Um, so uh, yes, the Melaleuca oil as well. So we shouldn't take the morning vitamin packet if we're fasting. No, you can, but they recommend that you take it with an eating episode. So I usually have the AM pack with my first eating episode, whenever that is but you can take it in the morning on an empty stomach. But I take it, if I'm having two eating episodes, I take AM with my first eating episode, whether that is at 8 AM or whether that's at 12 PM. Sometimes I do take it on an empty stomach. Have I given a list of clean Shibboleth items? I haven't. Um, I can name most of them off the top of my head, though. The hemp bar is clean. Bonitos is part of a grace day. Um, the the Lenny and Larry cookie is pretty clean. It's part of a grace day. So we've got multiple days with Faithfully Fit. We've got the blessed day, which is not, there's nothing on, there's nothing a part of a blessed day except for what God provides. Can we take a vote on that right now that that's acceptable to everybody? A lot of people thought that I was going to abandon the principles I always taught. Nope. If you remember what I put on the whiteboard, I said, we're going to make clean eating centric. So there's a blessed day. Because we are blessed. God has provided that we don't need to feel deprived. We are blessed. That's the whole mantra. I am blessed. I am blessed. We have organic, free roaming, wild caught, whole foods, organic foods. It's blessed. We don't, on a blessed day, we don't drink milk. On a blessed day, we don't eat cheese. On a blessed day, we're not eating sourdough bread. On a blessed day, we're not eating crackers. We're not eating double bites. We're blessed. God has provided everything that we need 
for this body to reset and regenerate. So don't y'all agree that a blessed day, if we need man to touch it, we don't need to eat it. Then there's a day of grace where it's stuff that's pretty clean, like a complete cookie, um, like a bonito, cleaner ingredients. Does that make sense to y'all? Cleaner ingredients. And you won't have to memorize it. There'll be lists so that you can just pull it up. There'll be a Shibboleth day. You can just have a Shibboleth day. You, do you see where I'm going with this? Everything you learned in Shibboleth, that's a Shibboleth day. Then there's the feast day. A feast day. That's, that's what y'all used to call a holiday. The reason I'm calling a feast day, I'm using biblical terms. This entire program not 80% of it, like Shibboleth, but 100% of it is meant to be Christ-centered and inspired by the Word of God. So there's the Bible talks about feast. Call for a celebration. It's a feast. I want you when you're sitting at Henry's in Ackworth having ooh-la-la. -la. Does anybody know what ooh-la-la -la is? When you're having ooh la la, I want you to say, praise God, I'm having a feast day. Then, dum da dum 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 da dum dum Then there's the prodigal day. The prodigal day. <laughs> if you have more than six feast day, feast days in a month, what kind of day is that going to be? We'll have fun with it. The prodigal needs to do what? The prodigal needs to come home. So I can hear it now, two or three years from now, somebody's had 47 feast days in a row. And they say, these are prodigal days. It's time for your prodigal daughter to come home. <laughs> so, yeah, that's that's we're just going to have fun with it. Sometimes you have to recreate and make things new and exciting. And, and then you may say, I don't want to learn all that. I'm just having a good old Shibboleth day. That'll be fine. How do you become a member of Faithfully Fit? You just sign up and we'll love you to death. We, we only have 500 memberships available. There will not be more than 500. When somebody drops off, then we can add somebody. Right now we have about 50 members. And you're going to get stuff like I show you today. Y'all having fun yet? Are we having fun today on a Tuesday? All right, so let's talk about these recipes. These this this is meant to be in conjunction with what I taught last week, the uh, inflammation class. These are these are foods and meal ideas that help fight inflammation. But since I'm not a professional recipe writer, I want to unpack them. I hate sending meal plans and recipes out without explanation. So let me pull this up. And Lisa, you can give them, got a couple people wanting to look at the uh, members sign up. If you provide that, that would be great. That would be a blessing today. All right. So inflammation fighting meal ideas. First and foremost, yes, I'm going to email this. So to everybody that registered, uh, my exclusive members get all 20 meal ideas. Everybody else gets 10. So you've got water. You, you've still got to use these meal ideas within the context of the program. Water, we drink a half a gallon up to a gallon of water each day. Journal, if you bite it, you write it. Combinations control insulin with the meal idea combinations below, meaning 
If you're trying to fight inflammation with these meal ideas, you don't have to worry about pairing. It's already paired for you. Portions, eat these eating episodes from a six to eight inch plate or use the two hand rule. If you're a calorie counter, keep the meal episodes below 400 calories and snack episodes below 200 calories. Now, ding, ding, ding. I put these together where they feed four, they're four servings. Did everybody catch that? The recipes I put together, I put them together to feed four people or feed you four times. They're already in the right calories if you only do one serving. These are uh, all going to be 400 calories or less per serving and protein is greater than the net carbohydrate. Almost all of the ingredients are clean. Y'all with me so far? You should not eat more than three eating episodes a day. If you eat more than three eating episodes a day, anytime we overeat, we eat a surplus in calories. Even foods that fight inflammation begin to cause inflammation. Listen, foods that help fight inflammation, if you binge on them, they cause inflammation in the gut. Catch that. So you, you can't just keep eating them and think, well, I'm full and I overate, but I'm fighting inflammation. In fact, you cause inflammation because you're wounding your gut and the lining of your gut. Does that part make sense? There's a reason that we are always taught the bulletproof shield for daily living. Then we fast a minimum of 12 hours isn't even enough time to, to digest the food. There's four phases of digestion. Digestion can, can take as long as 12 to 36 hours. We're really trying to get 16 hours in a day, a minimum of 16 hours, and still that's not enough to digest a heavy meal. We want to always be thankful and bless the name of the Lord. Now, let's look at these recipes and make sure that you understand I'm not a professional recipe writer and that most of you ladies and men, you would know how to interpolate the information. Grilled grass-fed steak salad. Now, could you replace the grass-fed with um, corn-fed? beef you could but then you're not fighting inflammation if you went through the inflammation class you recall the differences the nuances the reason grass-fed beef can help fight inflammation is you're not inflaming the animal but when we feed grain to an animal we're causing it to have an inflammation response and then we're absorbing that through eating it does that make sense you might want, if you're a member, you might want to refer to your inflammation course. I'm not telling you that you won't lose weight just as good, but it's not going to help fight inflammation. That's right, Ashley, we are what we eat. So an animal, uh, if an animal is fed plants that didn't get sunlight, it's not gonna be as healthy because it needs the chlorophyll from the healthy plant, and then we get the chlorophyll from the animal. Same thing with this kind of thing. The, the, uh, if, if an animal is grain-fed, it is inflamed. It, it is having an inflammation response to the grain. Then we're eating that, and we get that uh, inflammation in through the animal. Yeah, deer steak is good if you didn't add fat to the deer steak, to the deer, the ground deer. So four small grass-fed steaks, eight cups of mixed leafy greens, two cups of any uh, cruciferous vegetable like broccoli or cauliflower, a cup of fresh berries, four tablespoons of hemp hearts, 100% MCT oil, balsamic vinegar, salt, pepper for dressing, instructions, grill steaks to desired doneness and let them rest. Toss leafy greens and cruciferous vegetables with 100% MCT oil, slice the steaks and place on top of the salad, Garnished with berries and hemp hearts, that serving is under 400 calories. Protein is greater than net carbs. Uh, I'm, I'm not good at spelling out 
every way that you should make a steak. But I'm assuming most people know how to grill a steak to their liking. So if if I gave you that recipe, would that make sense to you? And you would know to put that on a portion plate, right? Next, avocado and egg boat. Four avocados have them pitted, eight pasture raised eggs. Could you have just store bought eggs that aren't pasture raised? You could, same scenario. Now we're not fighting inflammation, but we would still lose weight. So there's as many ways to view this meal plan, these meal ideas as you want to. Then it says preheat your oven, crack an egg into each avocado half, so season with salt and pepper, bake for about 15 to 20 minutes until it's your liking, sprinkle with flax seeds and serve with steamed veggies. Those of you that like avocado, would, you, would that recipe, even though I didn't expand on it, would that make enough sense to you to get her done? Remember to control the portion. Wild caught fish tacos, four large wild caught fish fillets. Here I'm just going into Kroger, going to the, the seafood counter. I'm asking for cod, wild caught. You don't want any farm raised fish if you're trying to fight inflammation. Why? What are they feeding the farm raised fish, everyone? There's more problems with it than this, but they're feeding it crap and they're feeding it grain. So you've got eight large lettuce leaves for your shell. Could you use, do you think that you could use a negative two or negative three tortilla here? Yeah, you, you could, but you have a Shibola day that way. Is it starting to come to light? So you're focused on weight loss. You're having a good old Shibola day. You could do it, but you're not fighting inflammation. The reason I'm going over this, people are going to ask, can I have this? Can I have that? Remember the purpose of this meal plan is to fight inflammation. We get the weight loss. See, we were focused on weight loss. Now we're focused on wellness. Still get just as good a weight loss, but we're focused on wellness. Have slaw, chia seeds, and then it says grill or bake fish with lime juice, salt, and pepper. Prepare the slaw with a light dressing. Place fish in lettuce leaves, top with slaw, and sprinkle with chia seeds. Now I'm gonna go to the bottom and I've got some things to explain down here. You'll see where it says coat in any of the recipes. You don't have to use any uh, wash, but you can use MCT oil, egg white wash, or egg wash to dip the meat or veggies in in order to get the chia flax or hemp to stick. It also says, as far as salad dressings, what those salad dressings can be, and where it says saute, you can saute in 100% MCT oil, cooking spray, ghee butter, or coconut oil. Does that explain it well enough that you would know how to unpack these recipes? We'll look at a couple of more. Berry almond and yogurt parfait. Yogurt's terrible for you, unless I give you a recipe. So here we have four cups of hormone-free Greek plain yogurt a cup of almonds chopped, two cups of mixed berries, four tablespoons of chia seeds. So we layer our Greek plain yogurt, layer our almonds and our berries and our chia seed, and we've got a nice parfait that's under 400 calories. Protein is greater than net carbs. Somebody say hallelujah. Now, could I do the following? Let's see how well you know your programs. Could I do the following? Could I fast for breakfast, fast for lunch, and then for dinner have wild caught fish tacos, and for dessert have a berry almond yogurt parfait, and count that two eating episodes for the day? 
Yeah. Yeah, and you get more fasting in that way. Sweet potato. I'm falling in love with sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes and walnut salad. I had a big old sweet potato the other day. It was delicious. Had it early in the day during the detox. Four medium sweet potatoes cubed, a cup of walnuts crushed, leafy greens, MCT oil, vinegar, salt, pepper for dressing. We roast our sweet potatoes with a little 100% MCT oil until those roasted sweet potatoes are sweet. Toss roasted sweet potatoes with leafy greens, walnuts, and dressing. It is best, actually, to eat sweet potatoes before 4 p.m., but because I'm putting some leafy greens and walnuts with it, you could have this for dinner if you wanted it. It's never a bad idea if it has carbohydrate in it, like sweet potatoes, and you're unsure to take carbies. It's a lot, it's very effective and a lot less expensive than those pharmaceuticals and safer. And fibo trim with your fats, unless you're taking omega fish oil and you don't want to take this with omega fish oil. Bone broth soup with vegetables, kettle and fire bone broth with your broccoli, cauliflower. I do this all the time. Um, the bone broth, and then I'll add rice, cauliflower, some broccoli. Sometimes I'll just add some shrimp to my kettle and fire bone broth or some scallops. Tells you what to do. Hemp flakes, crusted chicken. Four grass-fed chicken breast, a cup of hemp flakes, herb, salt, pepper, four cups of steamed leafy greens. Instructions, coat the chicken breast in hemp flakes and seasonings. Here's what I mean by coating. You could dip it in your egg wash, then batter it in those hemp flakes. They'll stick better. Bake until chicken is cooked through. Serve with steamed greens. Would y'all all know enough about cooking to handle that recipe, even though it's uh, not expan an expansive recipe. Chia seed pudding, a cup of chia seeds, four cups of unsweetened almond milk, two cups of mixed berries, almond butter for topping. So instructions, mix the chia seeds with the almond milk and let sit overnight in the fridge serve and then they'll plump up they'll absorb all of that serve top with berries and a dollop of almond butter nice little snack episode wild caught salmon with avocado salsa egg and avocado salad uh you got chicken stir fry spicy salmon egg white omelet and spinach walnut crusted cod berry and chia smoothie similar to the parfait hemp seed and avocado salad, almond butter and celery sticks, sweet potato and kale hash, grass-fed beef with broccoli stir fry and mackerel salad. So do you feel like the way I've written those out, even though I didn't expound on them very much that you know enough about cooking, you could pull that off? Did you see any in there that you might give a try? What can we substitute for the walnuts and almonds and almond milk? I just wouldn't have those recipes. Walnuts and almonds are, if that's in the recipe, there's those are the nuts. Most other nuts are gonna be inflammatory. Um, the almond milk, um, we're trying to keep it clean here. So I just would skip those. I wouldn't try to substitute. I just wouldn't have those meal ideas. Um, the blue diamond unsweetened almond milk would be the one that I recommended. Blue diamond unsweetened almond milk. Yeah, Anna, you have allergies, then I would just avoid those rather than try to make a recipe work because we have so many recipes available. 
we would just stay away from those altogether and, and choose one that doesn't have any foods that you're allergic to. We look at Q&A and then I'll let y'all go. And we'll have our six o'clock lesson two on harmonious hormones in a little bit for members only. First class is free. Pamela, thank you for the question. How do we sign up? Lisa, would you provide that to Pamela? Thank you, Joy Beth. Uh, Shirley, we're going to send these to you shortly. Please check your spam folders. Please tell people about the program. We need you. We need about 300 members just to pay the bills. So it takes a lot. Have a lot. A lot of debt carried over, too. Check your spam folders. And then when you get time, will you repeat the order of priorities you mentioned in the beginning, faith and fasting? Um, are we talking about fungus again? Um, oh, you're talking about my daily. Okay. So faith, like a, a, your overall wellness approach should be your faith first. Faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says, whether we eat, whether we drink, whatever we do, do it all unto the glory of God. Do it all unto God. Do it heartily. Do it with everything that you have. Even how we eat, we should eat and live unto the Lord. So our faith first. Then nutrition. That's your bulletproof shield that we live by. Following the bulletproof shield. Then you have exercise. So we begin to be able to stand on two feet with faith and good nutrition. That's all you'll ever need to lose weight, faith and good nutrition. And then we add exercise. And lastly, we add our supplementation. And we've got, it's, it, now we've got four legs to stand on. So um, you can't stop somebody that lives those and adheres to those four tenets daily. Faith, bulletproof shield, exercise, walking is a good place to start, and supplementation with peak performance. Do we have to have a veggie with the avocado boat? No, you do not have to have a veggie with it. What Greek plain yogurt is hormone-free? Good question. I'm going to guess um, I put hormone free simply because we're in clean eating. I haven't investigated that. I'm sure it will say on the container, but I'm guessing that Shobani would. There's a pretty good company, the Cho Shobani, CH. I'm guessing. The best yogurt on the planet with the most probiotics in it is called, is from a company called the coconut cult. But I think the only place to get it is online. I will be getting me some as soon as I have the budget to do it. I miss it. It's called the coconut cult. That's the healthiest yogurt on planet earth that they make the coconut cult. But for this recipe, I would probably just use Shobani. You could use kefir that you make at home. I have no problem with that. As long as you keep your overall calories per meal episode below 400, per snack episode below 200. And if you're using kefir, your uh, protein needs to be greater than net carbohydrate in that episode. Anybody else? Everybody happy? How are y'all liking Faithfully Fit so far after now three three weeks? You really do? You're not just trying to mess with me? My, my goal was that the members learn more in three weeks than they learned all year long until now.
Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you, Paula. Someone messaged me and said, there's only so much that you can teach, though. So how many advanced lessons are there? Y'all don't know me. <laughs> there's endless, endless, endless topics, endless. It's almost like reading your Bible. It just grows. So there's endless, endless advanced courses and classes to teach. Just never could do it. Couldn't get with a club. We can do that. But when you're not, when it's new people all the time, yeah, can you understand? You you always have more new people than you do the people sticking with it. And you're having to circle back and teach the beginning stuff all the time. So uh, homemade yogurt. Homemade yogurt, I'd have to see your recipe, Stella. Um, there's nothing that you can't make at home as long as we can make the recipe work. So I have a program. So when you give me your recipe, I can put it in my program and tell you if we're going to be able to blunt insulin activity. Remember, no matter what we're doing, no matter how clean it is, watch. Is organic watermelon and cantaloupe, is that a whole food that God provides? Watermelon and cantaloupe? Yep. Does it have fruit sugar in it? Yep. So if you're trying to lose weight, is that going to stop you? Yep. So it's all about, it's not just about eating, going organic and going natural. It's about we're eating it with something that blunts the insulin activity or we can't lose body fat. Now, when once you get to your goal, having a cup of watermelon and cantaloupe, like I'm doing, I've just done this. I've just done it over the weekend. Um, I'm sticking to my bulletproof shield and I had a cup, maybe two cups of watermelon and cantaloupe as an eating episode. And I don't, I can have, I can wait and say I'm skipping lunch so that I can have my watermelon cantaloupe after my meal and have two eating episodes at one time. So there's all kind of fun things you can do to manipulate the shield and still have success. Yes, I was teaching out of a digital book the other day. That was the Thrive book that I wrote. Uh, well, actually, we had already modified it for use at Shibboleth. So it was the Shibboleth digital book, phase one. Shibboleth phase one. It's in your digital book section at Shibboleth. I love teaching out of that. It's got a workbook companion there in the digital workbook area of your website. Anybody else? Big round of applause for Lisa and Lara. They're the ones helping me. I couldn't do it without them. It's a lot of work. They're going to get this formatted and sent to everybody that's in the club and those that registered will get some recipes too. Any questions, any final ones before we go? It looks like a couple more came in. The membership fee uh, for the... Um, the club is $50 a month. You get advanced classes, 21 classes a month for support, accountability, and education. Um, usually those cost anywhere from um, $2,900, $3,000 uh, a year or more. So we're doing 50 bucks a month. Can we have any of the flavored coconut cult yogurts? You can. You can have any of those, Teresa. Y'all can get me a gift card for Christmas to the Coconut Cult. I love their yogurt. I'm loving y'all. I, I love what the Lord is doing. Sometimes he does work in mysterious ways. They do. They deliver it. They ship it to you. Comes cold packed. Um, it's meant to be a supplement because it has more active cultures in it than any yogurt on the planet. 
the last time I researched. And they've got a chocolate mousse that's out of this world. The problem is be careful. If you eat too much of it because of all the probiotics, it could cause a little bit of gastrointestinal distress. It's meant to be more like a supplement. Hey, Veranda, um, Lisa can give you the link to join Faithfully Fit as a member. We would love to have you. Um, we have exclusive membership and um, people, we can do challenges as many as want to do those, but our members is limited at 500 because that's all I can handle without having uh, instructors. And I don't want to do that anymore. I won't support people to help me eventually, but no more instructors. They typically want to argue and fight with me. They may be right, but I'm just tired of fighting. <laughs> Amen, Marsha. Amen. Marsha knows she, she remembers in Rome. They all just leave me and go do their own thing. I don't want to do it anymore. Call me selfish. I'm taking my ball and going home. I don't know why. I don't think I'm that bad, but I guess I am. Why don't we do it this way? Why don't we do it that way? Why don't we do it this way? Why don't we do it that way? I hope y'all agree that after 20 years of that, that's enough. So I'm teaching. And if people don't like me, then that's okay. There's other programs. Um, I want I want to get to know a group and make it a more personal, personalized program where I know you by name and you know me by name. Anybody else? Where did I learn this? Um, God, um, the good Lord, I have, I, I grew up with low self-esteem, being made fun of, bullied, picked on, um, ended up after I got married the first time, ended up over 300 pounds, just felt terrible about myself, but I did have a, a little bit of a background in uh, nutrition and sports nutrition. I never had applied it. When I started having health problems, I put, I married faith and um, my take on nutrition together and out popped the program. Um, but I, I did have a little bit of a background in it. I would further that in various with well, various wellness certifications and fitness certifications through the years after I founded the first program. But most of it is an obsession. Uh, I've been obsessed with it since I was a little boy when my papa would give me money for picking pu purple hull peas. I would go buy a muscle and fitness magazine because I was tired of being a wimp. So uh, most of it is... Uh, I'm I'm like the person that can, not with musician, but with nutrition, I can read the notes, I can read the music, but I also can play by ear. It's a gift. God gave me a real gift. It's the only one you gave me, Lord, other than Jesus. But um, yeah. yeah. Anybody else? And I've taught people of various backgrounds. I've I've logged more easily more than thirty thousand hours of classroom instruction. So, but thank you for asking. I don't know how to do anything else though. I can change the oil if I have to. I can change a flat if I have to. I can't even pull a trailer behind. No wonder. Women don't like me. I'm not very good at utility. Uh, I can't even pull a trailer behind a truck. My son's going to teach me how to do that. I don't do anything else but this. <laughs> In jiu-jitsu, I do jiu-jitsu. <laughs> Thanks, Kelly. 
What was the name of the yogurt company again? The col <laughs> the coconut cult. Coconut cult. All right. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I'm going to go work with the ladies who are doing a great job to get this information to all of the registrants from the inflammation class and from today. I know, Kelly. I just put it out there. Don't bother me. Don't bother me. Somebody just found out I couldn't pull a trailer. I was asked by a friend, could I pull a trailer for them? And I said, I don't know how. <laughs> it was embarrassing. <laughs> so anyway. I can cook a little, do a, do a few things. I can wash the clothes, wash the dishes. Changed the tire for a lady a few months ago. It was stranded. That was a good deed for the year. I'm going to go, y'all. I love you. We'll talk to you again soon. I'm getting silly now. Bye, everybody. Thank you, Patricia. Thanks, y'all.